Oh, nice. You walk right into an incredible kitchen. Darren and wife Teddy are on the hunt for a large home in Maryland for themselves and their future children. Prom, really when they walk down oh, and dad do tears up. Problem for her and their agent? He won't spend what it takes to give her the quality she wants. There's so many new trends, and this house is just not really hitting those. Give me a little bit more money, and I'll see what I can do for you guys. How much is this? It's 550. Mm. It's a little yeah, outside thinking. of your comfort zone. You guys know what I wanted to pay. I, uh, I ordered lunch. Oh, great. We first met at a journalism conference and I handed her my business card. Actually, I lost your card and I had to go through your friend in hopes that he can get me to you. She was chasing me. We want to make our parents proud. We want to be proud of ourselves. So, oh. Lunch is here. I'm the sports director and sports anchor at a network television station. And I'm currently a full-time grad student. Clearly. Yeah. My mom used to always get so mad and I'll rip them open. Yes, because then you can't retie them. Why is it not so tight? I'm the thinker of the family. I'm all about logic. I'm thinking about our family. I'm thinking about our future. But I also have a hard time compromising, I will admit. About time you admit that. Well, I need you to get on board too. We've been renting a home in the DC area for three years now. We've always rented. Uh, we're looking forward to buying our first home. We're starting to look for a home in the Prince George's County, Maryland area. It's very diverse. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at this as a place we can expand and raise our family. We're actually in the middle of IVF, trying to have our first child. But if all goes well, maybe two or three more. Every single time that you want something, mm -hmm. what do I usually say? How much does it cost? Okay, so what are we talking numbers then? Let's have a firm number. I don't want to go over 500000 That's it. We don't agree on the price. Darren is really fiscally responsible, and I appreciate that. But it's going to be quite a bit of a challenge for us. Did you just walk right in, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm Good. family. I'm family. Not only am I... Teddy and Darren's real estate agent, but I'm also their friend. So my job is not to tell them really what they want to hear, but tell them what they need to hear in order to get them into a house. So what exactly are you guys looking for? Curb appeal, that means a lot to me. I wanted to have pillars, like that grand entrance. This house gotta be modern, have all the right. new bells and whistles. I love to go big, as big as we can get. 3,500 square feet, somewhere around there. I grew up in Texas, so I'm used to a lot of space. I'm used to a lot of brick, a lot of stone. But here's something that I'm gonna be clear on with you guys. I'm not into shooting a project. I want move in ready. I need a white, beautiful kitchen. Um, I can clean it, I can see when it's dirty, it's sleek, it's modern. I also want a like a nice deck, somewhere I can put my grill. My dad, we used to make steaks all the time, and I can continue that tradition with our kids and a yard, front and back. I was a little kid who always used to play football. So you want the yard? You want new, clean, mm -hmm. you want white, and you want it under $500,000. With privacy, neighborhood feel, cul-de-sac and sidewalks. What? Oh. Where did that come from? I like the cul-de-sac, I grew up on one, but, but the sidewalks, that's like one of your like must-haves. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're talking about starting a family, we need safety, you know? Where are you gonna put bicycles and strollers and such, in the street? So, uh... <laughs> You are both going to have to compromise on some things in order to find a home. They're in Prince George's County to see a contender. It is listed at 480. That's a good thing. Yes. I like the brick. I don't know about the shutters, though. That's just minor aesthetics, but this is like what I grew up with in Houston. I see the brick house. I see the bushes and the landscaping. This is cute. What's the first thing you notice? that it doesn't have the big front yard I wanted. Wrong. We are in a cul-de-sac and there are sidewalks. Teddy is very specific. She wants to make sure all of her needs are met, all of her wants are met. Uh, Darren is a little bit more flexible. Uh, today, I hope that I can get Teddy to understand that not every house is perfect. Oh, I was not expecting a two-story foyer. When we have kids, like they're, you know, you come home, daddy, daddy, Aww. or mommy, mom, they're on the stairs, like looking through the. You can see their little faces through the rails. And prom really when they walk down, oh, and don't dad do that tears to me. up. This 
is interesting. I get it, it's not modern and stuff like that. You have the space though. I'd like to see something more modern. We're a young couple, we're gonna be starting a family. So like, you can easily change out the cabinet doors, have them painted. The kitchen was my selling point and I'm, I'm just not willing to compromise on something so large. Let's keep looking. Good size deck. Love the deck. There's no backyard here. What do you What do you mean? There's, there's no backyard. There's, Teddy doesn't get it at all. She doesn't realize that the yard is so important to me. I need to be able to play football with my kids. I love the deck. I can see a lot of celebrations, a lot of cooking, dinners. I can see a lot of my neighbors. One thing that was important to us was having the privacy. I can get you a larger yard, but it's gonna cost you more money. Nice. It has a good flow, that open concept. It does have that flow, flow that I you want, Ed. I can get used to a bedroom this spacious. Um, Double vanity. What do you think is going to be the first thing I'm going to say? Another project, because you want everything to be modern. The space is here, though. There's so many new trends, and this house is just not really hitting those. I'm not sold on the shower at all. I think the trim in the tile looks dated. That needs to be updated too. This house is not modern. You know, the bathroom, everything was old. Everything needed updated. And it's gonna take a lot of work to bring it up to my standards. Show me where my kids are gonna sleep, Justin. All three secondary bedrooms mm -hmm. are off of the hallway. Nice. This, to me, screams baby nursery. And they share one bath. Look at the floors, Darren. Look at the cabinets and the counters. You're not gonna find everything that you want. Budget. Right. New home buyers want everything for nothing. They think that they can get it all for a very low price point, when in all actuality, you have to give and take. This is spacious. Wow. Are you kidding me? This is- Oh, the I'm games. Ah, yep. Where's the remote? I'm this good. This is movie night. Looks Monday. like they have the projector yeah. there. We have the big game here. Oh, absolutely. And then we have that second game or that third game over there on the TV right there. I see you like where you're that, going. don't you? I love the space. I love the basement. Then you go outside and all of those outdoor events that I like to watch on TV, I can't do that because the front yard and the backyard is not that big. I got my cul-de-sac. I have my sidewalks but I cannot stand that kitchen. I stress moved in ready and I really meant it. There are a lot of projects. We need to have a great house and it needs to be up to date. Give me a little it bit all. more money and I'll see what I can do for you guys. I don't see why that's a problem. But since Darren refuses to spend more, Justin's hands are tied. He's found a modern home in their price range. The trade-off? How was the drive? It oh. was long. Oh, your boy is not cheap. What is it? You're frugal. You are extremely fiscally responsible. I didn't hear anything until you said responsible. Keep there you there. Darren and Teddy want to buy a large home for their future children in the Maryland suburbs. But with all the upgrades and land they want, staying in Darren's comfort zone price-wise is going to be a challenge. It's right at $4.99. So I think we're in good okay. shape in that regard. All right. Okay. I see... I love, go ahead. Modern, and I even see pillars that you like. Wow. Curb appeal is great, cul-de-sac. Yes, it's quiet, it's peaceful, but I do not see my sidewalks. You've got a lot of grass, though. Yup, big, big yard, I can use my riding lawnmower. However, I can't play any football games here because I have those trees. Those trees gotta go. I think they're beautiful. It adds charm to the house. I mean, look at it. We've got black doors, the lanterns, the brick, and they're even pillars. I do like the pillars. The house is nice. I love the pillars. It seems modern. I hate the trees because if I'm gonna play some football out there, I don't need to run into this tree. Hey, guys. Hello. How was the drive? It Whoa. was long. I'm showing them this house in particular because I think it has a lot of what Darren wants in the size lot that it comes with and a lot of what Teddy wants in it's basically brand new. It's a little bit further than their ideal range, but it is in their price range in this market today. Why is this house so far? You get the land. It's quiet. You can't see your neighbors. We did right? ask for space. I love the house. I love that it's in a quiet area, but like it's far. 
an hour plus drive. Oh, nice. This is really cute. Nice Split shot. Level, so it's a little bit different than what we've seen before. I like it. You walk right into an incredible kitchen. I have all the modern elements that I want. Even the lighting fixtures look great. I have not a single complaint about this. Our appliances will be installed. OK, all right. Stainless steel appliances will be installed. I was, steel, I was wondering, I, I, installed. My, my pockets. I was I like, know. OK. The, I know. They'll be there. Thank you. Thank you. It Lots. is open concept. I see a lot of areas to gather and celebrate. This screams family to me. Did you notice the floors? There's no carpet. I can keep everything clean when we have little ones running around. I don't like the color, though. Really? It, yeah. It looks like it just came from, like, the lumber yard. It's just plain. Since it is new construction, I'm sure we can ask the seller if they wouldn't mind putting a more trendy finish on top of the floor. Oh, heck no. What is the deal? I can't play football on the outside. And then there's a, there's, a, there's a cliff. For whatever reason, Darren is looking for a football field. He just needs grass to cut and a place where our kids can play. I'm not compromising. I, Are you I kidding me? I want a me? good front and backyard. So just down here, it's going to be like the bedroom wing. So okay. a bathroom, two bedrooms, and then your bedroom. It's kind of small. What's the square footage? This place? It's right around 3,000 square feet. Now, see, something that was important to me was the square footage, trying to be around like that 3,500 to really give that good space. So it's a little bit under what I would, would like, and I can kind of see that with the bedrooms. I can and actually then, agree with you on that. You know, once you start adding bodies, kids, families, start entertaining, a tight. it might get a little tight in here. But, but, but it is modern. It's modern, it it's new. new. Mm -hmm. It's a give and take in, you know, with this price right here. Mm. I know it's not the square footage that you mm -hmm. all were looking at, but there's a lot of That's usable true. space. It's usable square footage. Mm -hmm. It's brand new square footage. Mm. And I think you can really grow in this house. Will this be considered the basement? Yes. You have tons of TV space. And I'm, I TV like space. the way that you're talking. Totally down for all the TVs. We're a big sports family, so yeah. why not? I love how modern this house is. It's a little bit small, but other than that, this house on the inside is absolutely amazing. The only thing is, is the backyard is just non-existent and the trees in the yard that need to come down. I appreciate the space. I love what they did with the island. You, you would have a bit more of a commute, but I think for what we're getting out here and the price tag, I mean. It's I worth should, it. It's, it's worth it. The inside of this house is so good. Can we scrape the house up and just move it to a different location? <laughs> I Sure, but it'll cost more. Justin, of course, knows how to get them both what they want. It's just the solution that Darren's going to have a hard time with. You guys know what I wanted to pay. I love this brick. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Darren and Teddy's agent has asked them to meet him today at a listing in a prime area of Prince George's County. They haven't gotten any info other than the address, but so far, they like what they see. Hey, guys, what do you think? Yeah, this is nice. How much is this? It's 550 which is a great value for the land, the size that you get. You guys know what I wanted to pay. When I drove up to the house, I absolutely loved the house. I loved the driveway, everything about it, except that price tag. You can't ignore that. It's a little yeah, outside staying. of your comfort zone, I know. Oh. If I didn't think it was worth your time or my time, I wouldn't have advised you all to, to take a look at it. Take a look. Oh, wow. It's a lot of space. This is what you get when you increase your budget a little bit. Look at the office. Office. Built like the, shelves. Yeah, the shelves are already built in. This is a nice size office. This is really nice. So it does have the formal living and dining space. What about this old school furniture? Furniture does not come with the property. It's okay. just the current owners. I can visualize the modern furniture. I love this. What do we call what this area? So this is just a sunroom. Sunroom. A yep. sunroom. sunroom. Yep. Could be a great playroom. It's a bonus. She's doing the rubbing my arm thing. The first thing that I noticed, Justin, is it's not white. It's the opposite of white, actually. It is the opposite of white. It is not very modern. Um, but it's also not very difficult to modernize it. So okay. the kitchen cabinets, they're a blank slate, an easy coat of paint. Are you walking off on me? You can add hardware. 
You can cut the little fence out off of the top. I'd love to do that. I definitely would want... He's looking for space to mount his TV. Dang, all right, I'm looking for a place yeah. to mount the TV. Can you get a bracket on the on the brick? How does that work? I mean, yeah, it can work. The yard where you can mow the lawn is also very important. Large deck out here for grilling. I, I love this backyard. We play some football games back here. We have all this green space. I can get my riding lawnmower and mow the lawn like I did when I was a kid. Boy. Good. Yeah, there's carpet up here. Is this Merlot? This, is it Merlot? Is it? It's, it's definitely a wine. I'm going to need a glass of wine after this, because this, this is, this is. Well, luckily, the carpet doesn't flow into this bedroom here. See? I wonder why they wouldn't have done this in all the other bedrooms. This is great. This is definitely this much better. Make We'd have to do rug. some painting in here, of course, because it's blue and orange. But I could figure that out, I think. I know Teddy's trying to talk me into buying this house, and I can see it. As soon as we sign the dotted line, we're going to come into this house. He already spent $550,000. Next thing you know, I'm spending a G here, a G there, and a G somewhere else because she wants all these upgrades. Here's the hall bath, which Ooh. is large enough for a growing family. It is. It is definitely not modern in any sense. I see a huge bedroom. Look at this. This house is full of great bonus rooms. I would not have expected this in the main bedroom. I love the space. Um, the space, the space, the space. Space is space. great. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, space, yeah. The space is amazing. Plenty of space to do a lot of stuff. However, there's not a lot of style here and it needs some upgrades, some uh, things to be modernized. And when you look at the things that need to be replaced, it's gonna cost me a lot of money and this house already costs more than what I wanna spend. Wow. <laughs> Like a locker room shower. There is. But like fancy. There's a lot more modern stuff in the basement. Absolutely. I won't argue with you on that. Fireplace, you have your pillars, this great window, there's a kitchen. I'm confused as to why all of this will be down here and not transition to the other parts of the house. There was a kitchen upstairs. No. It wasn't white. No. And then this. Surround sound, the large screen. I'm starting to make myself feel at home. This is nice. A lot of the things that I like right. are down here. I'm struggling with the stuff upstairs. Are you guys enjoying the, the film? We are. It's called Real Estate Agent Loses <laughs> Their Mind. <laughs> the basement's amazing. If the basement was the entire house, I may open up my wallet a little bit more. It's 550,000, but it's gonna feel probably more like 600,000 after the work we put into this house. This house has the yard that you wanted. Mm -hmm. It has more space than you wanted. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe the kitchens and bathrooms need some updating here and there, but if you're gonna be here for a while, growing your family, raising your family, then you can do these things over time. I'm starting to realize that we're just not gonna get everything that we want. Yep, you're gonna have to give up right. some stuff. I'm gonna have to give up some stuff. So we have a we have a very we have a tough decision to make. You're burning your no, you're burning we're good. Your, your crab cakes. No, I think you're just hungry. Darren and Teddy know they need to compromise if they want to get a house. Now it's just a matter of doing it. The one house I think we should really consider is the big brick one with the sidewalks and the cul-de-sac. That basement was huge. Yeah, and that basement theater. was nice. Backyard sucked. Can't play football back there. There were a few Empty. things, there were a few projects that we needed to work on yes. that are very small, except for that kitchen. If you want to replace the whole kitchen, that's another big project that I'm just like, no. Well, honestly, I can see us working with that white split level. It's incredibly it's, modern. It had that beautiful white kitchen. Inside the house was amazing. I hated the distance. I love the space I had in the front yard. However, those trees needed to be cut down. And in the backyard, that really wasn't even a backyard. That was a hazard zone. About that big one. <laughs> that first and second floor, absolutely hate it. Remember that red rug? Mm -hmm. And then you go inside the basement, modern movie theater. You know, that one is tough for me. The first floor didn't have my white kitchen, but we have so much space in there. We even had that nice green space that you wanted for your writing lawnmower. And the biggest thing that's really holding me back from that house is the price. Well, I mean, if we're gonna make it our home, if our kids are gonna be growing up there, then I think it's worth the investment.
actually need you to scooch. I'm gonna get these skewers soaking. The house we decided on was the brick with the sidewalk and cul-de-sac. I don't get my riding lawnmower, but I at least get a pushing lawnmower. And I don't get my white kitchen, but we have an actual home that's ours to bring our kids home to and, and to raise in and create memories. Can you turn this down just because it's like really hot? The house was listed at 480000 And we purchased the house for $490,000. The market was very aggressive, mm -hmm. so we ended up giving an offer $10,000 above the listing price. However, it's under $500,000. We have that extra money now to upgrade your kitchen and turn it from brown to white. I'm about to grill for the first time in our exactly. house. Exactly, you're in your in happy our house, place. not in not in someone someone else's house that we're renting. We got the large, spacious kitchen, plenty of areas to celebrate and gather. I've already pegged the room that we will probably be using for our nursery, so that's really exciting as we move forward with our life. And the movie theater is one of the big reasons why I love the house. I'm watching all my NFL games in that theater with your knees, not your back. At the start of this process, it was extremely hard for us to compromise. Mm. But eventually, we realized that we needed to give up some things. And now we're in our home where we still have so many positive things that we want. Thank I just you. mounted my first TV in our house. My hope is that we've got a lot of memories to make, a lot mm -hmm. of family and friends to host, a lot of kids to have. And, you know, who knows where life will end up.